Hello pool players, Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Today's video is going to be on stun. Now what I've got here is I've got an eight ball pattern where my opponent's balls, the red balls, are kind of in the way here and I'm on my key ball and I need to pocket it in this corner and I need to get shape on this eight for the side pocket. Now I'm going to shoot it two different ways but one way is going to be the best way or the higher percentage way to shoot it and we're going to just decide which that is based on the stun that we apply. So in duplicating the shot, we've got this pocket reducer in there. It brings it down to a three and an eighth opening. That's so that we can be more precise and we can see an apples to apples comparison, a more accurate comparison when we change our speed on our cue ball. So let's go ahead and shoot it in. Let's try to get good shape on this eight. Pretty good right there. Not bad. I can make that all day long. Now let's go ahead and shoot it a different way, once again from the same location. I'm going to go two questions, low left. Excellent. Pretty much identical to the other shot. I can actually shoot it down into the corner or I could shoot it just into the side and that's what I would choose. But now let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when we change our speed on our cue ball and we get stun. On our first shot, let's take a look at how stun can affect the outcome of this shot. Now notice here that I put a white arrow down at the bottom cushion and this is where the cue ball will strike when we make a correct hit at the right speed. Now let's shoot the same shot with a little more speed. Notice where the cue ball strikes in relationship to the white arrow. And here is another attempt with a little less speed. And now a third attempt, while once again backing off the speed. Now let's compare each shot. Notice the correct speed for shot number one and its position on the cushion to the white arrow. Shot two is with the most speed and notice how far off the cue ball is. Shot three, a little less speed it's getting closer and back to the arrow and then shot four almost gets there but it's still too hard of a hit and once again here is another attempt at the correct speed now let's break down shot two and see how stun affects the cue ball's travel Now, let's stroke with a little more speed. So my findings with shot two are very interesting. There's a lot more leeway or room for error when we shoot this shot, the two cushion shot. Now I'm applying low and outside spin in this case, so this was low left. And what I did notice that in shot two versus shot one, even though I hit it harder, the cue ball actually came up short of my arrow. Whereas in shot three, I hit it the hardest and it barely moved off the arrow here. My finding then is that we have a lot more room for error in that we can strike the cue ball incorrectly and still gain position. So if your preference was shot number two, the two cushion shot, you were right. We have a lot more room for error, thus we will get on this eight more often. 
Shot number one is just too fussy. With any amount of stun, we will plow into the balls that are in our way. If you players have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching everyone, and until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.